All right, guys, it is your buddy Kin Tips here. Today, we, I am doing a review of my uh, latest uh, DAP. This is my digital audio player, the Sony uh, Walkman NWA55. So, this is a really neat little digital audio player. Th these used to be called MP3 players, okay? So, I have here all my uh, mo I, the ones I use the most. Uh, mp3 players okay so here is my old Sansa clip that I usually use because it's small footprint um, has pretty good audio this is my old Sansa the problem with this one here is that the scroll wheel here is doesn't work as well as it used to um, and this thing is really durable this is my newer mp3 player that I got that was eh it's not that good so this is like 50 bucks, uh, some Asian um, uh, brand. And of course, this is a, just a cell phone that sometimes I'll use. Now, as you can see, I have Bose QC25s. Uh, These are the Sony um, headphones here. So as you can see, uh, earbuds, the WMX, uh, WFMX, uh, Threes. and then I got these ones as you can see so I've tested them all on this and the main question is that people always ask is does it sound better yes this little mp3 player the footprint as you can see size wise for a sense of clip it's almost the size of a phone um, this and as a touch screen this is definitely better okay um, the sound is better there's a clear audio feature the music is way better on this uh, little device it sounds better overall if you get the background noise you've he you hear things that you haven't heard before uh, this is a high-res audio player as well and I've tried them both um, this one is definitely better this is some cheap I don't know what it is so um, but this is definitely better uh, and people ask you know if, you, if you're gonna ask is it worth spending extra money well I'm gonna tell you you can buy one of these um, uh, mp3 players as you can see mine's in Japanese uh, you can buy one of these mp3 players used way cheaper um, by importing it than buying it uh, locally don't worry about the the Japanese yes it's hard to decipher but once you get used to it I actually know how to like use this thing pretty good now after a while so there's your folders uh, there's options uh, this is your Bluetooth um, you just play around with the settings and then you'll get used to it uh, can you change the language no you cannot change the language when you buy a Japanese uh, model number but if you get the newer one the NWA 105 the newer one that one's like $400 though uh, but if you get that newer one, you could change the language because it's an Android. Um, it's an Android-based uh, digital audio player. But this is not uh, changeable. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, oh, it's in Japanese, should I just import it? Well, I'm going to tell you, get. It's cheaper. You'll get used to it. It's not that hard. Um, that's how I did it. Uh, this is a really awesome device. So because you have a micro SD expansion. You have your physical buttons here. Uh, it's touch screen and it is really good on battery. This one is really good on battery. It is like right now I'm going to turn it off and I already see there's an OK button. Turn it off. It's not hard, guys. So, um, but it is it is really good. It's worth it. Um, oops. And it's really durable. Okay. So, um, this compared to the newer one. Like why I didn't get the newer one is because, well, this one's cheaper and this one has a way better battery life. So the battery life on this one is 45 hours. The new one, you, you're lucky if you get 10 to 15. So so this one is definitely better. Um, def definitely check it out, guys. If you have questions, comments, post below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, yeah, my, my clear thing is if you were looking for a digital audio player, it's worth it. 